let me ask you this. Uh, Isaiah, and you said your father was murdered when you were three years old. Do you think that if possibly, perhaps, maybe by the grace of God, if he were still alive, that you may not have picked up that idea of sagging to tell you, son, this is not how you do it. Do you think that there may have been a possibility or do you think that once again, you would have manifested that idea of self-education, self-teaching, and you would, have, you would have just taught yourself that, you know what, I'm gonna sag anyway because I want to, because it's a freedom of speech as you mentioned earlier. It would have been a great possibility that I would, I would have not said because, you know, your dad can, can show you things and, and teach you things and tell you things your mom can't. It's just facts. So I feel, I feel, I feel like it would have been a great possibility that I, I would not say it. Mm. Do you think that when you see other guys sagging, when you see other young people your age sagging, mm -hmm. do you look at them and think anything? Because, you know, and I, and I say that, and let me, let me rephrase what I mean when I say, a lot of times we as human beings, we have this tendency to uh, think that something looks good or looks okay for us when, we look, when we're looking at ourselves. But sometimes when we look at someone else and we see them doing the same thing, it, 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 uh, it, it, it looks and feels different to watch someone else do it. For instance, we can, we, uh, we can cut our own skin and watch our own selves bleed, but to watch someone else cut their skin and to watch them bleed would be disgusting for many people. It's the same act, the same thing, but you're looking at someone else doing it. It feels different, it looks different. It affects you differently. Do you feel that way when you see other young people sagging? Uh. I'm really not judgmental, so I really don't judge people because it's a reason why he or she says it's a reason behind it. It may not, it may not be the same reason why I say it. It may be it's going it's, it's going to be a different reason like all the time. It may be he probably said because like Jaleel said he can't afford uh, clothes that fit him. He probably then she probably said that she seen her sister or. A role model doing it. It's just different reasons. Jilla, have you ever sagged outside of the house? I know you said that you uh, that you do it inside the house, obviously in the comfort of your own home. I'm sure most of us do things inside the comforts of our own home when no one's around. Have you ever sagged outside of the house? Not to an extent, but when what when you said to an extent, what kind of extent? Uh, as as I pointed out, sometimes, uh, especially in college. When you leave the comfort, or you leave your home, mm -hmm. then you have the college food, and you eat, and your weight fluctuates. And I used to play football at University of South Alabama. Uh, I told you earlier in the previous show when you had me on. Yes, sir. Uh, I went from 200 to like 240 in two months. Mm. So obviously, the pants I was wearing was too small, but I had no money because as a college student playing football, there's really no source of income besides, you know, good old mom and dad. Good old mom and dad. <laughs> Coming on, chip in. Yeah. And besides that. Transfer that money to your debit account. Like, oh, go to the, go to the uh, I got no money. Uh, yeah. Come on, hook me up. But besides that, I, I, would have to, I would have to sag my pants and my jeans, so I wouldn't sag them to the extent where my my rear end is all hanging out, but where enough where my ankles are covered, and if I sat down, that it's like only a little bit of ankle is showing. Mm, so, not a major flood. Yeah, not in the major flood. I'm in the flood, but I don't want you to see me walking in the flood. If I sit down in the flood, then hey, you must make you make things like ah, oh, his he just his, his ankles are ashy. Uh, mm. so. Okay, so another <laughs> uh, ashy ankles. Yeah, <laughs> so. You kind of sagged for the for not because you wanted to, just because, like I said, your clothes couldn't fit, mm -hmm. and you went you your weight fluctuated drastically from yeah. time to time. And I understand as a college student that can happen, and so you kind of just sagged, really, I guess, out of necessity, uh, it, you know. So your pant, you know, so I guess you would feel feel comfortable in your own skin while you were walking or while you were sitting down. I guess uh, for many people uh, that would make sense, mm -hmm. and then I guess for other people could say, "Well, just go buy you some new clothes, just go buy you some new pants." But I guess, as you said, as a college student, financial yeah. stability isn't uh, the top priority. And also, it, it, I, you got to put in like 
as you guys I say earlier, it's, well, did, like you have to source of income, or or it's, there's always problems going on. So it was like maybe I'm not getting money because my parents have to pay some bills, so I can't go out and ask my parents, say, hey, mom, dad, can you you can throw me about thirty dollars so I can buy me a new pair of jeans? Well, it's a little we can't because we're taking care of bill X, Y, and Z. Mm. So. If they make the sacrifice, I, I can obviously make the sacrifice, and I just have to work what I gotta work with. So, Isaiah, I truly do understand what you're coming, you're, you're coming from. Like, like I said, my role model, he did it, bet, bet when you know when he stopped selling drugs, he told me you gotta become a man, you gotta pull your pants up, my brother. I listened to him, I listened to him, I, I truly did. But I had to learn from myself. You still gotta learn for yourself, that self, that hands-on, that self experience. So, in other words, you say that the only reason, the only way you can really stop sagging is to have that self educate, or to have that self hands-on. In other words, something really has to sway you within inside of you to stop doing it. Correct. correct. It, it can't come from the outsource. words of of someone else. It can't. It cannot. That that lesson cannot be outsourced. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I think. Hmm. It's, it's the phase. Like, like you said earlier, how you went from your middle, middle school to tenth grade to eleventh grade. You or you sag. And I had my phase where eighth grade, ninth grade, coming from. Going from a black school to a white school where sagging was acceptable to the white school was like sagging was the way to express yourself mm. so it, it was a cultural difference so it was like uh i i can be me i gotta find myself and so i realized sagging wasn't me i like to i like to wear a little polo here and there i like i like to wear some nice khakis and some some docks so I had to find myself. Let me ask you, gentlemen, this is sagging a is sagging a phase or is it a lifestyle? To different people, it means different things. Okay, let us let's talk about these different meanings. Okay, for I, I can say somebody who's in the struggle every day, like who sells drugs or who just lives in the, the so-called hood, it's a lifestyle. That's what you do every single day because you see people doing it every single day. So that's so that's what you're molding to to be a savior every day, every day. Jaleel, do you see sagging as a phase or do you see it as a lifestyle? Like Isaiah said, sagging to some people it's a it's a it's a it's a style, it's a high fashion high fashion lifestyle. But in my community, uh, my personal experience, this is a phase. Uh, one minute we're wearing tall tees, next minute we're wearing or we're sagging. To the other minute we're dressing preppy with big nerd glasses. It's just a phase. It's gonna fall in. It's gonna fall out. And it's gonna come back in when our our kids grow up. And it's like, oh, uh, I remember we used to do that. And our kids gonna call us names and stuff. So, just a phase. So Isaiah, is, is you more say that it's a lifestyle. Uh, it's something that you. That you do day to day, uh, no matter. It's basically I did, did that you did yeah, day to day. And Jaleel, you say it's a phase. Mm -hmm. At any point, do you gentlemen ever ever thought that ever thought of it in the other direction? Jaleel, have you ever thought that perhaps it is a lifestyle? And Isaiah, have you ever thought that perhaps maybe it is just a phase? I have thought about about that. I put myself in that situation because I went to Bush Middle School and everybody sagged in Bush. But you went to Bush Middle School in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, okay. Right. And at this at this middle school, everyone was sagging. Everyone, everyone, except the teachers. Except the teachers. Okay. Everyone, like every student. Then I, I can remember uh, that I was going to the movies with my mom. She she was taking me to the movies and I seen a school off to the right. I like mom was that school. She was like. She like, I think it's a church. I like, nah, that's a school. It got the baseball lights. I like, I want to go there. So, she 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 raised the money to help me get there. She said at first I was just I was crazy. You're not going there. It's too expensive. Then she raised the money to help me get there. So, I remember the first day of school at John Carroll. 
my pants sagging. I'm seeing all these, you know, people of different ethnic backgrounds, seeing Caucasian people, Mexican, Indian. You seeing if their pants, I hope their pants are fitted, the shirts tucked in, shirts not big. But me, my, my, I, had, I had like a, I was probably 5'10 with a, a 3X on shirt. And my pants like a 38 and I wear a 36 now. So you could imagine how big those pants were. Then my sophomore year, I said, I gotta, this gotta stop. Then my brother was like, hey, this gotta stop, man. It's clothes too big, that's not professional. How you gonna get a girl, man? Your pants gonna fall on them. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he told me. So, for, like, so, yeah. so for you when, you, when you left this, your old school and your home neighborhood and you went to this brand new, I guess kind of pristine uh, private school on right. the other side of town. Okay. You were you and you saw and you were the only guy in the school with big baggy pants, sagging pants. You you felt did you feel uncomfortable? You felt out of your element? Yeah I did. I, I felt very uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. So for you it was more influence. Yeah. And then it was so funny when I got back home. Everybody was sagging. Once you got back to your your old your neighborhood, own yeah. right in your own environment, everybody was sagging. Everybody did you go sagging. back to sagging, or did you keep the idea of of the private school area that you had just left from thirty minutes ago? What makes it so funny? Like my sophomore year, I started getting fitted clothes. Mm-hmm. Then when I got back to the, uh, my neighborhood, I used to go run in the house and change clothes real quick. The song that was bad Or I was just like Hey forget it I'm just gonna say in this mm. So it was just my environment Wow Jilla have, Let me ask you this Have you ever done that Jilla Have you ever uh, He said that he would You know Go change And, and uh, According to his environment He would go change Rather quickly uh, Have you ever Noticed yourself doing it Have you ever Let's just say If uh, You were You were Younger, would you ever try to say, "Wow, I need to look cool. I need to look. I need to look like this for these groups, for this particular group of people. I need to look like this for this particular person." And you would literally make the effort, make the to, to go in your closet and change uh, real quickly for five minutes just to look a certain way for a particular person. Uh. In Isaiah's instance, he would go change into something baggy uh, just to look to fit in. Yeah, just so to fit in. Cool. Once he got back to his neighborhood after leaving his private school on the other end of town, his pristine school on the okay, other side okay. of town. Yeah, I mean, I have to, I have to dig back in my memory because I, 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 to be honest with you, I know this sounds embarrassing, but I really didn't buy my own clothes until I was like in eleventh grade. So okay. even, even. Even then And you know probably Why you didn't buy Your own clothes Until the 11th grade Probably because you didn't Have a job Exactly Until the 11th grade So that makes sense So no that's not as embarrassing As you think it would be But go ahead But it's it's more like I try to find The baggy clothes I try to find The The The, the, the Pants that hang and look cool around my boys I know we're gonna play B-ball and, I, and we may see some girls And It was that 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 Lifestyle I want to be Like you asked earlier Is it Do I ever think It was gonna be a lifestyle I thought it's going to be a lifestyle until I keep going to my closet and I'm seeing my closet. And my mom has nothing but polos and pants that fit me. And I'm just like, okay, so how do I gonna make this work? How do I make myself sag or how do I make this shirt a little bigger? I'm, I'm like, I tell my mom, hey, I may wear a large, but I'm like, I may need a two XL mm-hmm. because mom, I'm playing football. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get big over the over the break. So she's like, all right, I'll buy you two XL. Have that in my closet when I go out with the boys. Hey, throw the baggy pants, throw that two XL. Mama just bought me. Come in looking like a smooth brother, and but in reality, I, I look like a, a complete fool because <laughs> nothing fits. So I, I have I found myself around that age going back home, hurrying up, wearing my my quote unquote preppy stuff mm. to go tra- change into my. How we say in the suburbs of Arkansas, our hood, hood stuff, our hood clothes. Your hood clothes. Even your, though that we live in the suburbs, you're, nobody's clearly from the hood. Your ghetto attire. Yes. Okay. Wow. So both of you all would go home and change to look yeah. cool, look, look 
look cool for your friends in the neighborhood. Yeah, but, 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 but this is funny. I can relate to uh, Jaleel's story in a way. My mom, she just tried to buy me clothes that fit me. Then I never wore them, though. I used to wear my uh, cousin clothes. She was like, who clothes, who clothes you wearing? I'm like, hey, that's all. That's Tim clothes. She was like, why are you wearing the clothes? I said, these clothes too small. I'm not wearing them. They were too small or they weren't? They, were, they, were, they weren't they, they big. They were too small like to me. They was fitted, like fit, like on fit. Mm. Were fitted clothes. I'm like, they're not big. I can't wear them because. You mean fitted as in they were your correct size? Correct size. <laughs> correct, correct size. Okay. And see, Fly, I can understand. I mean, Isaiah, I can understand what you're coming from because 